here we are on the taste test. Now, it's been a bit longer than I said it would be. Uh, I ended up brewing this for seven days, doing a one day cold crash, and then um, I've had it conditioning for three days. So conditioning is on the short side, maybe a three days, but seven days brewing is more on the longer scale. But let's just get this uh, poured out into a glass. And as expected, very, very carbonated. I'm gonna to have to give that a while to, to sort of uh, drop back down. Um, I know quite a few people have been saying they're getting pores like that. Uh, I caught, sort of expected it's gonna be like that because I did do a sneaky pull-out draw before to measure the final gravity of the product. Um, although I have avoided having a taste test of it. So the final gravity for this product uh, starting was 1082 and it's got down to 1018. Um, that's probably a bit high, some people might say, uh, but it does mean it's probably gonna be a bit sweeter as well, which I'm fine with. Um, that means I think its final gravity would be about eight and a half percent, which I'm more than happy with. But let's just see if it comes through into the final product. <laughs> Well, ended up pouring a second glass to the same success. Um, definitely, definitely the carbonation in the new pinter is quite high. Um, I think I'll have to release it down to one, but I'm not doing that now while I'm sort of pouring beer because it will unsettle it. So what I'll probably do is scoop out some of the head and pour that into there and then give a taste. I've decanted uh, some of the beer into here to give me something that at least is um, mostly beer and not foam or froth. Um, when I did pour them, they had big heads on both of them and I could see that there were no specks in either of the beers, um, of the glasses, which is a good thing, um, unlike my first brew. I would still say, just keep an eye out on your first or second brew, um, take pictures if it happens, if you see it, send it to um, the pinter and um, mostly probably give the pinter a good clean before you go in for your first brew. Right, let's get a aroma on this and see. Okay. Definitely smelling hoppy. Um, it doesn't smell exactly like Space Hopper. Um, it's definitely got a more, I don't know, I wanna say, passion fruit, pineapple nose to it. Um, but right, enough of the nose, let's get into the taste. This is the important thing. So I'm saying it maybe is around 8.4%. And so for me, that's double IPA territory. And I'm hoping the hop oil with the original extract that was there has made this a lovely hoppy beer. It smells so on the nose. Let's get into the taste. Oh, wow. That is good. I mean, oh yeah, that, that is, I had high hopes for it. I've read other people have good ones as well. That is good. Oh, wow. It's boozy as well. I can certainly taste the booze on that. Wow. But alongside that, Considering it has a massive head on the pour, that's just probably the pinter, um, how it's working with the pressure. It's not overly carbonated. It's only been um, conditioned for three days. There's not a massive carbonation in there. That is smooth, soft, boozy kick to it, a slight boozy kick to it, which is nice. But, such tropical fruity flavors. Honestly, that pineapple's definitely still in there, which makes me sort of think that maybe there's some sort of sabro hop in there. You can see I keep going back to it. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Um, I'm thinking though, 
thankfully I bought two more of these. So I've got two more Big Dippers and um, I'm gonna do a normal brew, not boosting the ABV up by short brewing. I'm gonna brew the full amount and um, I'm gonna brew it to the longer time scale, condition it as well. I may even track to see how it's going and how long it actually takes to ferment out. Um, that'll be something I'm interested in trying. But otherwise, that is a really good brew. And out of the pint of two packs um, that are out there at the moment, I know I've only had two, um, and this is my second one, but it's the best one. And based on some of the reviews I've read of some of the other ones as well, so the, the House of Hops and the Tropical Debate, the first sort of free that they launched, not very good. Uh, but this, oh yes, beautiful stuff. I've got to be a bit careful now. Only four litres of it, it's gonna go bloody quickly. I tell you, it's really good though. All right, cheers everyone. Mm -hmm.